this machine, I invented one of kids everywhere. One day, the machine was gone. Then Mr. Will was very mad because he had worked on it for a whole month. He wondered why someone would take it, but he could track it. Because it had a tracker on it, he tracked it down and it was on an island. So he went to the island to talk to the people who stole it. Then they said, sorry, we stole it. We want to learn how to be scientists. He taught the family how to be scientists. Don't. Can we think of two things that she did well as a writer, not as a speaker, not as a reader, but about her story? What makes a good fictional narrative? She made up a story. What did she include in her story that made it good to listen to? Two things about that, please. Go ahead. Ginger, I like how you, you added lots of details. Okay, and one more thing that she did well as a writer. Remember in a closing for a fictional story, that's the ending to our problem. How did her problem get solved in her story? Rachel, pick someone. How did her problem get solved? Ginger, by teaching other people how to be a scientist. Do you agree? Okay. And one thing that maybe Rachel could work on the next time that she's an author. I think you might have used a few thens, right? And we learned some other words instead of then. What could we do? If we're telling a story instead of then, what's a different word we could use to transition into the next idea? They. First. First. What's some other ones we could use? Logan? Next. Next. After. After. So, Rachel, maybe the next time you could try to use those words instead. All right, one more round of applause for author Rachel.